Good morning beautiful people, I hope you are keeping safe and well. Welcome to my YouTube channel. For those who I haven't met before, I'm Emma Ryder, Psychic Medium and Divine Channeler and this is the Daily Twin Flame Reading and I have some very naughty goats outside. <laughs> As a rule, I tend to read where the Divine Masculine is at and the message is coming through from the Divine Masculine. I, in no way, shape or form am I saying that this journey is one-sided as I 100% know it isn't. So please do switch DM to DF if that resonates with your journey. Trust your heart, always. Okay, so we're going to use the animal cards today. No, oh, look, we've got the butterfly on the bottom. So, big changes, transformation coming. And I feel like, I want to say, I feel like the Divine Masculine is opening that cocoon the last bit because it feels like we've been opening that cocoon just like if that's the cocoon like one step at a time then a little bit of a wait maybe half of a retreat and then another then another then maybe retreat but I feel like the cocoon is fully opening and actually that makes the butterfly so let's have a look at what 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 is causing these changes and the reasonings behind the change Okay. Uh -huh. The crow. And I feel like it's the calling of the crow. It's the calling of your souls together. It's maybe physical communication as well, but there's definitely that calling, that pull. Your souls are being called together, which is bringing about this big transformation and I want to say your divine masculine is feeling the pull from you they're feeling that pull they're feeling the need to speak to you they're feeling the need to be closer to you they're feeling the need to change to make it happen so there's definitely I feel like I just want to be like almost I suppose um like tug of war rope pulling that rope to me I feel like the Divine Masculine, I suppose, is in a way pulling you to them by feeling the need you are pulling them. So the pull is each of you, okay? Then we've got the Beaver card and the Raccoon card. Okay, and I feel like the beaver is the beavering away, the working hard to get out of this rut, to get out of this hibernation, to get out of the cocoon. There's definitely been hard work going on. There's definitely been um I suppose hard work. There's been the releasing that struggle, working through the struggle beavering away and I suppose creating a home for you is in a way healing themselves and creating that space ready for your soul okay because there is the feeling of home when you're with your twin so they are creating home by preparing themselves they're creating home by releasing what they don't need to carry and keep moving forwards it feels very I just feel the pull I feel the I can't ignore I want to say I can't ignore this anymore I can't ignore the pull I can't ignore the connection I can't ignore that red thread which is connecting our hearts I'm feeling the pull, I'm feeling that energy which just wants to be right in front of you now. It feels very... I almost feel like the intensity of the need, the want, the pull is bringing up quite a lot of emotion. I feel very like, the need, the need for you in their life. 
And I feel like you can totally empathize with this Divine Feminine because I know before you started your healing journey, shall we say, there was that energy where you needed them and you were grabbing onto them, you were holding on for dear life and there was that need which brought up so much emotion. And I feel the connection brings up emotion, but then this need is bringing up emotion. And I suppose needing somebody is a little unhealthy. But I don't feel that in this case. I feel the... I feel it's just the realisation that it is possible. The realisation that the pull is mutual. The need is mutual. And nothing can let that go. Nothing can... Nothing can break your connection. Nothing can break this union. Nothing can break you two together. Then we've got the Phoenix card and the black egg card. We're definitely breaking out of this cocoon, egg, cave, whatever you want to call it. Breaking out of the darkness because the cocoon sort of shadows you in dark into the light, which is rising, raising you, pushing you out of the ashes and into the light. And I feel like that is together. It's almost like you're a wing each. And you can't do it without each other. It's definitely that togetherness, which I just feel the togetherness. I feel the, the connection like you're stood in front of each other and you can't deny that magnetic pull which is happening. And you may be miles away at the moment, but it's that pull. Because remember... You're together in the 5D. It's only a matter of time before you're together in the now, in the physical. And it's really, I feel the intensity is increasing because it's getting so, so much closer. And I do feel, in general, I know everybody's union is different and everybody comes into union at different times. But in general, I feel like there's a mass happening where there's so, so many people going to come into union. I feel it's a big part of the universal energy at the moment. Okay, beautiful. Enjoy this feeling. Know that your twin wants you as much as you want them. Please do me a massive favour and like and comment on the video. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. I'm truly grateful for each and every single person supporting the channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Take care, stay safe, and I will see you tomorrow. Namaste.